Kristen Hansen with your first alert forecast. Christine, last night you could Crazy. hear the wind howling. Yeah. Makes it very difficult to fall yes. asleep. I did. I had to close the blinds because the thunder, you know, the lightning and the dogs just shaking. I thought, oh my goodness, it didn't last all night, but we still had some early this morning. Right now, things are fairly dry throughout the region, although we still have more where last night's storm system came from. This is a storm that's offshore. It's a parent low and it continues to spin up bands of moisture. This is all possible throughout the day. Heavy downpours, tornadoes, hail, lightning, thunder, and Sierra snow will ramp up once again. So you can see there's possibly some showers each and every hour throughout the day today. We are in a brief break right now, but this is where we're expecting the potential for a severe weather. Much of that will center from Yuba City down to Stockton, right in this region on the west side of the valley. We'll be tracking this cold core. You can see it's already offshore on the direction it's headed. Right now, we're wrapping up from last night's uh, downpours and heavy winds, although there are still some light showers right now stretching from North Highlands, north up to Lincoln through Pleasant Grove, and we're also seeing some showers uh, now in Loomis, just north uh, by Newcastle. Also, some heavy showers have just erupted north of Copperopolis, and we're seeing dry weather throughout the valley. This is that next band of moisture. Let's put that in motion so you can and see that that will generate some heavy rain uh, by about 9 to 10 here in the valley through about noon and that will continue off and on throughout the afternoon. Windows and breaks only mean more sunshine and again the potential for all of that continues into Tuesday. That's still the parent lows offshore and that means rain and snow as well for the Sierra and a flood advisory for these locations in the valley with an additional one to three inches of rain. Upper 40s, low 50s today. Our winds are really light right now, but we still have a wind advisory in place until Tuesday afternoon or early morning hours. Here's your forecast for today. We're calling for occasional showers, thunder showers this afternoon, next seven days. Looking like this uh, with drying weather by the end of the week. Your seven day forecast also showing occasional rain, thunder showers through Wednesday and then drying for Friday. All right, here's first alert traffic. Good morning, Tina.